thought I'd see a scrap like that again. What do you want? To thank you. These dead Reavers drowned me many winters ago. And I've been itching to see them get theirs. So you died after all the flooding? Indeed. I came to the Lake of Nine to pillage Tyr's temple. But I underestimated the severity of the desolation. Have you seen other men? Living? A bearded one with tattoos. Only the one standing in front of me. Thank you both for avenging my death. That could be valuable. Hey, it's a fragment of a language center. We should look for more like this. Maybe the next one will have more information. Keep your expectations low, boy. Spirits are rarely useful. How do they even exist? When you sever a man from his life, it is not always a clean cut. So you've met other spirits? Yes. Many. What were they like? Annoying. We could beach the boat here.
you? Another spirit who wants something from us. How unexpected. What's wrong? I came to this lake with a group of tradesmen, seeking refuge from the desolation. But how could we know it was even worse at the Lake of Nine? We cannot undo your mistake, spirit. I know that. But I fear for my captain and crew. I believe they are still under the water. Will you find them for me? Is there anything you can offer us in return? I... I have little to offer. Oh. Well, I'm not sure... Wait! I died wearing a valuable family heirloom. It's yours, if you promise to find my crew. Deal. Thank you. You are learning. Why didn't you or mom ever tell me about the desolation? I won't speak for your mother, but it was never my concern. Nor should it be yours. Doesn't it concern us if everything around us is dying? Our only concern is reaching the peak. Really? Then why are we exploring all these islands? The resources we find improve our equipment. If we stray from the path, it is only to prepare ourselves for the journey ahead. I can live with that if it means we keep exploring. And helping others. together. some loot up there.
doesn't look like it's working. Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sexy. If I got something for you too. Brock? But how did you? None of your fucking business. Now get in here. I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. What do you think he wants? To test our patience. When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. You watch. You rust around like that everywhere? Yeesh. Catch! The pile of rocks there? With that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the World Tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see a mountain in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path, lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that. Come on in, then. So much for peace and quiet. Trouble now. Hope you got what you wanted. Keep them from packing bits off you. Too careful now. Yeah, 
boy. You know, being small like us, that's natural. What more you need? Something on your mind, boy? Best of luck with all the rampage. What is this? A horn. Here's the end. Can we blow into it? Without knowing the outcome? Well, we usually push every button, pull every lever we see. Outcomes we can predict. No. This is something else. We must develop your instincts. I knew it! We are blowing the horn! No. We are testing your resolve. I have resolve. A bunch of it.
That tower leads through to the mountain. I'm ready. Worth a shot. Sister! I can't read these either. But they're different from the others. I can't translate this without the whole cipher. <laughs> 